Kevin Davis here. I'm back at you with another Linux video. This time I just came across as I was YouTubing, came across some guy who has a lot of themes for different Windows operating systems to go on to your Linux distribution. Uh, I've been kind of making some Windows 8.1 simply because I'm one of those weird people. Even though I never had it, in fact I left Windows after Vista, uh, Windows 8.1 would be one where if I ever wanted to try out a Windows, I thought about that one. Yeah, I'm weird. I know you can do the dislikes. I don't care. But anyways, as I was looking through themes uh, of this guy's website, I was amazed to, to find that he has a Windows 3.1 theme, and my little brain started uh, started wondering. So let me uh, let's do that today, and we'll take a look at how much of a Windows 3.1 experience we can have. Part of me just wants to see the Windows 3.1 theme streaming a very fast YouTube video. It'll be so incongruous. I just can't wait. All right, let's jump in. First thing is first here, we have to go online to the website. So uh, here it is. And uh, once we get online here, we'll just download the themes. I think you'll see, but the theme is available to use on most desktop environments. Uh, my starting place here is the same starting place as my last video. It's Debian XFCE, and I was just going to keep it XFCE once I got the theme on here. So, um, that's what we're doing. I had to allow some pop-ups. My Firefox was blocking pop-ups to download the theme here. So, once we download the theme, we'll go ahead and apply it. Uh, this is how you do it if you don't know how to. Um, and you may know that I'm skipping some of my footage and I'm fast-forwarding, just so you don't need to see all the boring stuff. But, um... The nice thing about Debian XFCE is you can just drag and place directly into the appearance there for theme. So that's what I do. Boom. And that's what it looks like. Uh, next I want to really change the font to make it look more like Windows 3. And obviously I'm going to have to be taking off these panels here. I loaded up LibreOffice to look at the fonts as well. And also just to see how it looks as an app. Uh, over here is alright. But... Anyways, see what kind of fonts we can find. And I don't think I'm too happy with any of these fonts. So, I know a wonderful website to download fonts here. Uh, 1001 free fonts. Let's look at the bitmap fonts and just see what uh, ones we can get here. Hmm, let's look at ticketing. We'll download that one and just see how it looks. Um on our screen here extract and then if you don't know how to put the fonts in you just put it in user share um, fonts but you have to do it whenever you're looking um, at your file manager with root or as administrator so so let's see what ticketing looks like um, just delete the folder and put it directly in there. Type it in here. Um, eh, no. Let's find some other fonts. So, uh, there were some other ones I saw as I was looking. Uh, the VCR one looks interesting. Let's see what that does. And let's see also video here. Let's see what that one looks like. Alright, do all the same stuff. Move it over to the user share fonts webs uh, folder. Let's see here. Video or VCR I mean. Hmm, changes it a little bit. And yeah, that looks maybe even clearer. So Next, we're going to find some icons. Uh, you know, I looked and looked. I couldn't find any Windows 3.1 icons. 
So I finally found like a Windows 98 lookalike icon pack. So you can find them at xfce.look.org. And then now to put them in here, I extracted them. Well, there you go. That's what they look like. This fonts, there's where you can change images. I don't know if there's going to be any event sounds with this theme. Time to get my Christmas wallpaper off here. And I'm just going to, I remember Windows 3.1 had a teal, dark green background solid color. So that's what we'll do. Um, also, they had desktop launchers. So I'll go ahead and add those. And start changing this panel around. Uh, I believe the icon or the theme pack shipped with uh, some icons as well as the Windows 98 theme icon. There we go for a good start menu type thing. Windows 3.1 didn't have that panel bar on the bottom so we're just gonna have some start menus. Oh, see the icons here? Internet browser. Um, already looking. <laughs> LibreOffice looks like it's been changed here with the old-fashioned um, office icons. Get rid of this clock or at least change it so it's not... Um, there we go. Hmm. You know I uh, eventually decided that the uh, best way to probably make this at least usable is to put that Windows 95, 98 basic panel taskbar on the bottom. So you're gonna see I'm gonna be skipping some footage and that's what you'll see here in a minute. Um, I'm gonna be moving around here. As you can see, Firefox itself doesn't change, just, just the web launcher that Debian gives you. So anyways, there's the bottom taskbar, kind of a more Windows 95 format with the window buttons. Even a Windows 8 or 7 and 8 and beyond to have that clock over there with a the date. As you can see the Wi-Fi there, um, there's the different apps, different app icons. As you can see I found some of the games here. Um, there are um, there are Linux alternative games here to some of the original games found on Windows 3.1. Obviously here's Minesweeper. You may have noted that I also changed uh, the font here. Uh, I actually just went online and I googled. The, uh, the font for Windows 3.1 was basically in Hel a Helvetica font. And so I just went online and found one and that's what I made the font. And I also applied the themes on the Windows Manager. In your Windows Manager app you had to apply the, the Windows 3.1 theme. So as you can see the little blue bar across the top and just the original, uh, more of original icons. Now the original Jezbel was a lot less exciting. Uh, I think it was just a gray background, but I had, to, I remembered playing that as a kid, so I had to go find a Jezbel alternative. As you can see, it's actually called K-Bounce. All these apps that I found are not called what I named them. I just renamed the launchers in the menu, so just looking at the other backgrounds here of Jezbel. And uh, what else did I find here? Look under the games here. Uh, Solitaire, Pipe Dream. Solitaire, as you can see, is just Klondike up there. You can change the card type on the background. And um, change, there you go, see? Just trying to get that Windows 3.1 experience as much as possible, even though the bottom bar is there. Looks pretty nice. Um, also, there's even a kind of a... I don't know if I bring it up right now. I might just go to the other game real quick. Yeah, the Pipe Dream game. It's actually called That Word, which I won't pronounce. And it's not exactly a pipe dream. It's more of a water dream, giving water to the tree from the house. If you've never played it. These were all, actually all those games that I'm doing were all found I believe in the Synaptic Package Manager that ships with Debian so if you see any of these games and you're like wow I really want to play that takes me back that's where they're at. So I'm 
just speeding up things here to move along here. I did find a paint. Uh, I think it's called Color. Of course, again, I changed the launcher. But yeah, it's called Color Paint. And it's a little bit reminiscent of the original paint found on Windows 3.1 to me. Obviously not exactly the same. You can also notice that even the icons up there have that old-timey type feel for open and save and all that. So... Yep, this is a pretty uh, sweet deal here, and just to show you that font, it's called, I think they just called it Helve. I'll look down here, yep, there it is, Helve. So, uh, also, if you guys remember with Windows 3.1, I did find Ski Free. I believe you would have to put it on wine or windows is not an emulator that app uh, or wine is not an emulator i believe just download it and play it through um just google it like i did or you can take that address up there pause the screen and take the address if you just want to relive some more windows 3.1 memories so so yeah go online find some other pictures and images and icons this is my Firefox launcher, but I called it Netscape and gave it the old Netscape icon just for fun. So, yeah, here I think you got a pretty good picture of how this Windows 3.11 theme looks. Um, it's called 3.11, I believe, on the um, website. So, there you go. Here's the Microsoft Office. <laughs> Uh, let's see if LibreOffice, how it looks with the Windows Manager applied and all that. Just also to get a fill on the menus. Yeah, it's definitely taken me back with that blue highlight and the white. Uh, there's tabs. So, yeah, you kind of have a general feeling of Windows 3.1. Yeah. And as I started this video, I said I kind of want to see how this will look with uh, streaming a video on a Windows 3.1 looking interface. So, why don't we head over to YouTube. Already we can see the funny looking top bar for YouTube. And, uh, yeah. Why don't we just look up that, Windows Startup Sound Remix. Now, you're not going to be able to hear this because, again, my screen recording was not capturing audio. But, uh, you will get to see this nice commercial here. So here we go. It looks like we're looking at a Windows 3.1, Windows 95 hybrid, but we got YouTube going. Isn't that amazing? Oh, you saw the volume up there in the top right. So, anyways... I think the video was doing that. Obviously, the commercial was going just fine, so. I think it's just playing to the sound of the music, so. Well, there's our brief look around uh, with the Windows 3.1 theme on the XFCE desktop. Thanks for watching.